everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and do my cash stuffing for my cash envelopes and my sinking funds. There should be $512 here, but I'm gonna set my sinking funds aside for right now to get them out of the way and put the cash in my tray here. So we have 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, 40, 60, 83, 20, 40, 60, 84. Oopsies. Four hundred and twenty, four hundred and forty, four fifty, four sixty, sixty-five, seventy, seventy-five, eighty, eighty-five, ninety, ninety-five, five hundred, five oh five, five ten, five eleven, and five twelve. I hope everyone's doing well. Um, it's cold here, and we had some snow earlier this week. Good old Midwest life here. So. <laughs> Oh, all right, so getting into my cash envelopes. Oh, as a side note, um, normally I do $450. Um, there was $62 that was left over. Um, $40 of it was from something that I had sold. Uh, $19 of that was from a, I had, we had a big, this huge jar of pennies and we turned it in and it was $19 and five cents. So the $19 is in here and the five cents is in here. And then there was $3 um, from a cash tip that we got from door dashing. So anyways, spending, um, we always get $20 per person. So $20 for me. And then my husband's cash envelope is in my sinking funds binder, which is where he likes to keep it. So takeout always gets 50. Miscellaneous always gets 50. Oops, that was already open. Stay down there. Okay. All right. Beauty gets 30. Let's see, 20. 25 and 30. So it now has 51, 20, 40, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96. So 196. My envelope is getting a little stuffed here. All right, nothing goes back to the bank because I already did that. And then we have our coins. All right, I'm gonna close this up. And so what I have here, I don't know why I have my pen out here. What I have here is my penny savings challenge. So what I do is I add up my coins and then I put them in my coin jars. And um, if you save all of these dots, it adds up to $667. Oops, can't see that. $667.95. Um, I'm actually thinking about restarting this at the begin beginning of the year. Just curious what your thoughts are, um, because I started this jar savings at the end of last year, and I actually have a whole jar 100% full of silver. So I'm thinking about changing these all in at the end of December and then starting over fresh and then using that money that I saved up in these jars um, for um, paying off debt. So let me know what you think in the comments if you think I should just continue on this sheet or if I should start over. So that way I feel like, because I started this kind of late this year, I wanna say it was in October. So I didn't really get a chance to fill in all of these and I think it might be more fun to start over and be able to actually see all these fill in. So anyways, let me count these up quick. All right, so I have $2.91 here. So I'm gonna go ahead and put those in their respective jars and move those out of the way. So $2.91, I don't know if I have, I just dropped my marker too. Okay, Two, $2.91, 95, 91. here we go, $2.91. All 
All right, get that out of the way for right now. All right, and here is my high priority binder. Christmas gets 20. And it now has 100, 150, 170, 190, 210, 230. I don't really have very much left to get that I can think of. I'm, I'm pretty well spent on that. So what I have now is going to be um, put towards next year. So, um, and thank you so much for all the birthday wishes for my youngest daughter. She turned 10 on Tuesday, the 29th, and um, she had a wonderful day. Um, my dad got her this electric scooter so the gift that i got her pretty much got trumped but that's okay because she's happy and i'm happy so um but she was trying to zoom around my house with that and i'm like first of all no second of all don't break my stuff so anyways she um she had a good old time on that and i know she's ready for it to be warm even though it's december in the midwest and it's probably not going to happen anytime soon that she'll be able to do it outside so eventually but birthdays always gets five so it now has 100, 20, 40, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85. So we'll, hold on. 1, 20, 40, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85. Yes. So 185. The next birthday is my oldest daughter in January. All right. Vehicle registration gets 25. All right. So now it has 100, 200, 300, 350, 370, 390, 410, 430, 435, 40, 45, and 50. So 450. All right, car insurance gets 20. So it now has 100, 20, 40, 60, 61, 62, 63, and 64. So 164. One of these days I'm probably gonna add an extra dollar to there because it drives me nuts. I like to have nice round numbers and that isn't doing it. All right, back to school gets $10. I may have to even get some more fives, but we'll see. All right, so it now has 51, 55, 60. Wow, that was wrong. 51, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. 31, 32, 33, so 133. Again, I'll probably add a couple dollars to this one of these weeks and make that a nice round number as well. All right, dog stuff gets 20. And it has 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, 40, so 240. Car maintenance still has $1,000 in it. Massage, we don't count, and I'm not stuffing that because we are not getting massages until maybe December, or sorry, uh, January, because my massage therapist is on um, maternity leave. So, and then his spending gets 20, so he has $40 in there right now. And other is where I'm putting extra money for debt, so I'll be back with that here in just a minute. All right. I am still gonna stuff these envelopes this week because I have them here. When I do my unstuffing, it'll all come out, but house maintenance is getting $20, which now has 51, 52, 53, 20, and 40. Home renovation should be the same for $20. And it now has 51, 52, 20, 40, 60, 83, 20, 40. Warranty copay gets 10. You know what, I'm gonna switch these in for 20, or for a $20 bill and add the $10. So it has 20, 40, 60, 65, and 70. Medical gets five. 
20, 25, 30, and 35. Family Fun gets 20. Which now has 20, 40, 60, 81. 20, 40, 60, 80. Pool Pass gets 5, which has 50, 70, 75, 80, 85. Sports gets 5, which has 5, 10, 15, 20, and 25. Family Photos gets 5. Which has 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 41. Amazon Prime gets 5, which has 50, 70, 75, 80, 85. And last but not least, Fireworks also gets 5 which has 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85. My tattoo envelope and my husband's tattoo envelope were not stuffing because I didn't save any money last week of my own and because we're not adding anything right now. So now we're gonna go back to my other envelope. This leftover money is um, $40 is from the car maintenance fund that we didn't stuff and 40 is from massage and then what was it uh, $62 was from uh, stuff from last week so um, so 62 plus 80 is 142 so 20 40 60 81 20 40 1 and 2 you should be impressed by the fact that I was able to add that up in my head without a calculator and if you're not impressed don't tell me otherwise all right, I am going to add this and total it up quick. All right. It's quite the chunk of money here, and I love it. And I'm going to be sad when I have to deposit it in the bank and actually be a responsible adult and pay a bill. Okay, so we have 100, 200, 253, 354, 450, 500, 20, 40, 60, 81. That's 600, 20, 40, 60, 80, 700, 20, 40, 60, 80, 800, 20, 40, 60, 80, 900, 20, 40, 60, 80, 1000, 20, 40, 60, 80, 85, 90, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99. So 1,000, 99 dollars, is that right? 20, 40, 60, 80, 85, 90, 95, yes. $1,099 is in this envelope to put towards debt, which I am super excited about. So, and that is going to be added. So almost $1,100 in there, but that's also going to, we're going to take out this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, this one and this one. So all that money will be going towards it as well. So anyways, if you like this video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment if you'd like to. And again, if you haven't subscribed, please go ahead and do that. It really helps me out. I love having new subscribers and I love when you guys communicate in the comments. I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye.